Good morning everybody, happy Sunday. For once it's actually Sunday the day that I am filming this. We've got a glorious sunny day. I'm going to bring you along today to see a wedding venue. I was trying to decide if I was going to keep it secret or not. Uh, but it's one of our top contenders and hopefully I can do a little bit of filming while we're in there so you can get a sneaky peek at one of the places we're thinking of getting married. One of my amazing bridesmaids got me this wedding planner which was so kind, it was such a nice gift. And in here there's actually a section about the venue and questions to ask. So I'm going to have a flick through just before we set off and write down any questions we've got. It's in York, so we've got a little bit of a drive to get there, but I am so looking forward to it. Half of me wanted it to rain just in case it rains on our wedding day so we could see what it was like in the rain, but I'm actually so excited that it's sunny because it's just such a beautiful place. Oh, hello. It wouldn't be a, a video without you getting involved, would it? Hey, it wouldn't be a video without Rory. You just hate it. It gets really bad FOMO, fear of missing out. <laughs> You're going to be a good boy today, hey? Hey? We had a bit of a lay-in this morning. We had a really late night last night. I got... <laughs> Excuse me. Come on. Beep, beep. Keep walking. Keep walking. <laughs> We had a late night last night because I was quite far behind with my videos last week so I didn't get to bed till 2am. Oh my god. Um, and the cats were just being crazy all night and just running around um, and then this morning we got up at, oh my god, Rory, come on please. <laughs> We got up at about nine o'clock and Rory was just like, no way am I getting up, mum. What do you even think I'm doing? <laughs> it's so cute. Um, yeah, adorable. They're so, so funny. But we're going to leave them by themselves today. We're just going to be gone for a couple of hours and then I'll see what the rest of the day has in store. But I really just want a day off, to be honest. I am so tired and just ready to sit down and have some time for me and some time to do a bit of vision boarding, a bit of wedding planning. There's actually a section in here that's like a mood board section so that could be really fun to do as a little pick me up um, and start thinking about the budget and other little bits like that so i'll bring you along for the day you can be a fly on the wall and see what we get up to Just arrived. <laughs> we just arrived, you can see it just behind me. It's just as amazing in person as it was on the pictures. It's kind of surreal when all you ever do is look at pictures of places and then you actually come and it's like, wow. <laughs> so we're gonna head in and hopefully, like I said, I'll try and take some videos and see what we can get. Um, if not, I guess I can insert some pictures, but I assume I'll be able to take some pictures myself and some videos. We just drove through like the suburbs of York and oh my god, there are some amazing houses around. I was just like, wow, wow. <laughs> Does anybody else just love driving around new places that you've never driven before? Because you see so many amazing houses and places to live and I was just like getting all excited, thinking one day, one day I can look for houses here. Um, I just love finding cute little villages that I've never even heard of before and I found some really great tea rooms as well so I'm gonna have to try those out but let's get going inside and see what it's like I've been thinking about my options every detail in my head but it doesn't really matter nothing matters so I cry instead I 
morning so it's a brand new day I left the last video off with us coming back from Sandburn Hall and I was gonna do some wedding planning and just have a nice afternoon I just had a really good well-needed rest and time off from filming or editing I just had a nice binge watch of loads of things on Netflix and it was fantastic <laughs> today we're gonna go to another wedding venue we're going to Salt Marsh Hall um, You'll notice a theme with the venues we're going to, they're all in sort of East or North Yorkshire because that's where we're located and a lot of our family too so we don't want to be trekking too far. If you've got any venues you could recommend then let me know. Um, but I thought I would share in this vlog the two main ones that we wanted to look at because they were the top of the list to be honest. So I mean the weather is disgusting today, it's chucking it down. I know not all of you are interested in wedding content but I'm hoping that you can just enjoy having a nosy round with me as well. So let's get off to Salt Marsh Hall and see what it's all about. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow There's a new day to wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow Washed out by the rain Darling, you've got to keep Holding on through the night Cause I promise you completely different day and I am currently running out of sunlight. I've had a very stressful morning sorting out my taxes and other really boring admin stuff uh, but I want to spend the rest of the day doing stuff that I like, <laughs> stuff I enjoy and I really want to start doing a bit of wedding planning. Had to put it on the back burner a bit this week after seeing the venues because we just had so much on. 
but I feel like it's just gonna start to really pass me by. So one of the things I wanna do this afternoon, I mentioned it at the beginning of the vlog, but it's to go through this planner and just start putting, print some pictures out, like go on Pinterest, get some ideas. Um, sort my guest list out and just little bits like that. I was just watching some YouTube videos actually and I'll link some of the ones I found really really helpful but there was one and it recommended a website called Bride Book so if you're looking to get married or you're hosting any kind of event highly recommend that if you're not having your own wedding planner and um, it's really good because you can actually put in real life quotes and like your actual date and where you want to get married it sorts out your guest list your budget it gives you a massive checklist which is so infinitely helpful just ran at the chair and crashed there we go it's like you hear the camera and you say yes i'll come and help <laughs> so um, we were thinking of a October wedding. Ooh, it's gonna bomb <laughs> thing. Yeah, originally we thought a summer wedding and I was sort of swaying more towards an autumn themed wedding. Let me know if you wanna see more wedding content from me. I appreciate not all of you are wanting to get married, but I had lots of great just messages and comments saying how excited you are were for our wedding and I thought maybe I could bring you guys along. I've showed you two venues now and I'm going to go to more wedding fairs in the future so let me know if you want to come along. I personally just love being nosy and just like having a nosy around different venues and seeing what they feel like but the last one we went to, Salt Marsh Hall, they were having some work done in the actual part you get married but it was insanely beautiful and Sand Burn Hall, I keep mixing them together and making Sand Marsh or Salt Burn which is not right. Um, it was gorgeous with the big windows and everything like that but there's definitely pros and cons to both so it's just about trying to figure it out and thinking of other places as well <laughs> stop it but yeah i'm gonna just start doing this and i'll bring you guys along i'll show you my vision board and anything else that i get up to um and then we'll see what we get up to for the rest of the day i know i desperately need a shower so please ignore my straggly hair i've just had a bit of a day today Oh, that was the other thing um, I'll share with you later on, but I did get some samples for bridesmaid dresses and I was thinking, <laughs> this is not the colour, I was thinking of like a rust colour or burnt orange, like the pillows I've got, I don't know if you can see any, but this is not the one. <laughs> um, these were the multi-way... <laughs> These are the multi-way dresses, La Closet de Chanel, multi-way specialist, <laughs> terrible accent, but um, yeah, I got that and it is not the right colour, so I won't be going with that, but it was one of my ideas and I think when you have ideas, it's good to just make sure they work or you can put them to one side and it's not taking up precious, precious brain space. So the first thing I'm going to do is go on Pinterest and go on my vision board for my wedding because I honestly have been adding to it for a while <laughs> and then actually reassess, see what I actually want and then print out some pictures and then have a little bit of an art session I think. <laughs> Focus on anything but 
but you Cause all I want is to get some shut eye But the thought of you is keeping me awake I don't know what it is Okay, so here we have my first vision board. I think there is two more pages, yes. Yeah, so if anything changes, I can start afresh after. But I do love a vision board and it doesn't take very long to do. This isn't the perfect colour palette, but it's pretty close. So I really like this taupe colour, I think that's how you say it, and like the darker browns. I really wanted an orange in there, so I really love these orange bridesmaid dresses, but as you know, <laughs> I'm having trouble with those. So I might end up doing, I think I got some somewhere, oh yeah, these colour with some accents like this in the flowers, which is here. I really love these like more natural looking cakes. Got both venues there so I can see them both. <laughs> I love the colours on this picture with the beautiful orange accents in the colours and I just loved how light and beautiful this is. I thought there was a picture missing. <laughs> one of the things we're not sure about is what colour suit for Dom to have. I got this one printed off which is my, like a, a grey colour. I've seen some somewhere that are like more of a grey brown colour so that might be what we go for. I'm going to stick that one over there. <laughs> but that's my overall vision board. I keep meaning to say as well about my ring. So many of you asked about it and like to see it up close because I didn't really share. <laughs> So this ring is just a promise ring for now and my actual ring just got dispatched from America yesterday which is so exciting so that will arrive within the next 7 to 10 days so once it does arrive I will definitely show you guys in a vlog it's absolutely beautiful don't get me wrong this is amazing too and I will be so happy with this for the rest of my life um, but basically Dom just said he didn't want to propose with no ring he didn't want to propose with a Harry bow ring as you all know we spoke about it loads before so we both knew he was going to propose but he knows what I'm like and he literally said I knew if I bought the ring in the link you sent then the next day you might very well say actually I've changed my mind and I don't like that one anymore <laughs> um, because there was so long in between us deciding to get married and then him proposing he just left it and thought I might have changed my mind by the end which is you know it's a good thing and he knows me very well thankfully I haven't changed my mind but it did take a little while because it's been made custom so exciting times ahead I've actually got a little spacer on it right now because it's far too big <laughs> excuse my nails as well but this is a size eight and I'm a size four so oh I don't think that's focusing very well there we go it's like a little spacer thing just like that so if you've got an engagement ring or any ring that doesn't quite fit then I highly recommend them I will share a link to where I got these from they were from Amazon so I'll leave the ones I bought down below can highly recommend and it's kept this ring on my finger I actually lost it the first day I had it and I thought oh why me <laughs> so hopefully fingers crossed the new ring that's arriving fits well and doesn't fall off my finger oh hello Oh, you're so long now, Rory. You're so long. That's cheered me up quite a lot doing that little mood board. And I think I'm going to go and have a shower, freshen up, and then we will see what we get up to. Um, I know this video is already getting quite long because I don't want to make it too, too long. But I also don't want to make it boring either. So I don't know what I will do for the rest of the day. But I do know. I just really want to feel clean and fresh so I'm gonna go have a nice candlelit shower I think mm, it's still daylight but I could still have candles in the shower even in the dark uh, even in the light can you tell my brain is mush um, and then yeah I might just do a bit more planning when I get back downstairs
feel 100% better now. I sometimes think a shower is one of the best catalysts for change inside your mind and your body. I feel like a whole new person and I should have done that hours ago. But alas, here we are. <laughs> I thought I would just sit down now and just chat to you a bit about a brand that I really want to share and promote. I am always a advocate for the underdog and this is a really beautiful amazing company that I want to share with you guys. So I actually contacted a seller on Etsy and asked if they wanted to collaborate for a video and I will be sharing more in the future to do with budgeting like I used to in my old videos. I was a true lover and still am to be honest a true lover of the cash clip system. Way back in the day I had to make my own wallet because I couldn't find anything that was fit for purpose but I actually found something that is. So if you're into budget and you're gonna love this section of the video. Stay tuned till the end because I'm gonna also be sharing a giveaway. So the brand is Treasury, it's spelt with a C and this is the product and I just love it. This isn't sponsored by the way, all opinions are my own and I've had a month with this to really enjoy it and use it and be able to give you guys a proper review and I can just say I am in love. I whip this out in the supermarket and I just feel like a badass. I love it. I feel so, so organized. So what set this apart from the rest for me is the fact that in the middle, there is all these separate little wallet parts and there's actually little labels too. I've not written on the labels yet because I've not decided what proper categories I want to do. I wanted to play with it a little bit first. Um, but I love the fact that everything is very organised. What made me love this one the most out of any that I've found is the fact it has a separate compartment for coins. If you've ever been to the UK or you live in the UK you'll know it's chaos. <laughs> coins, they just appear from everywhere and having somewhere to catch them all is super super special and definitely needed because a lot of the wallets I found are in the US and you guys in the US have one dollar notes, we have one pound coins and let me tell you we collect a lot of them. <laughs> so this is the current situation in my own purse right now and there is a lot going on in there. So I just love that you can sort of organise each section and I love the fact that I can budget a little bit better now going forward so what I'm going to be doing is more sort of food shopping budget orientated videos and getting cash out of the wall to put it in my wallet and then have the whole week and whole month knowing exactly where my money is going because it's so easy when you've got debit cards to just keep putting it in the wall, keep tapping it on the machine and before you know it you know you spent way more than you wanted to or way more than you budgeted for so these are a really great way so that's that section and then the other section here this is the bit I love this is where all of the cards go and I just love the fact it's so easy you can just grab them out as you go there's a little section there for your driving license I took mine out for privacy reasons but yeah just really simple and there's so many card slots too if you guys are like me you have plenty I've actually got way more in a drawer because I had a much tinier purse before um, but yeah really really good quality and I can highly highly recommend she actually has six different colors available sorry if the camera is wobbling Rory's come to say hello <laughs> Six colours available and the one that I'm going to do a giveaway with is this beautiful blue colour. So these are the two side by side and they also come with this little gorgeous handle. You could definitely take this to sort of a wedding or an event and just have it as your bag. It's big enough to do that for sure. So this is the colour I'm going to be giving away and once again it's got exactly the same. Super high quality, amazing. And she's also making a smaller version too for any of you out there who don't want a giant purse. I actually really like a giant purse I never used to and recently I started feeling more gravitated towards one that just much more easy to be organized with and I even have like a little section in mine for my receipts sort of like at the front which I love but she is going to be making a smaller one in December so if you're interested then I'll leave her shop down below so you guys can go and have a little gander they will make the perfect gift for a loved one at Christmas or even for yourself <laughs> gift yourself but yeah I I think budgeting now for me is huge it's going to be such a big theme for 2022 for me because we're hoping to get married next year so I've got a lot of penny pinching to do and a lot of thinking about budgets to do and just trying not to spend too much money on like stuff that's really not important anymore like home decorations and 
<laughs> too much food and like takeaway and stuff like that. So having, I think having something like this is just really easy because it's a visual reminder. If you're like me, I just, I need to see the fact that there is a fiver left for the rest of the week and then be like, no, you can't afford that packet of crisps or that this or that that because then I can see it. And I think that does really help. So I'm just gonna go make myself a nice cup of tea and then I'm gonna just have a flick through one of my bridal magazines and just have a bit of a cozy evening, that's the plan. I almost forgot to mention, if you want to enter the giveaway, I'll leave the link to my Instagram down below. So head over there and um, I will leave all of the rules on the Instagram post. So if you want to enter, then you can and you can do that over there. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Forgo. Give up everything that I. Expected love was found. You're the rose in a garden, and it shows if I'm honest. You're the leaves in mid August, and I've come out here to say. turn off the lamp because it was really blowing me out it's just getting to that time of day where it's getting dark but on the camera it's picking up way more light than there is in the house I'm currently just sort of sat in the dark <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed today's video I have a feeling it might be a bit all over the place but there were some real gems in this video and I'm just happy that I was able to take you to the venues and I'm hoping to do more of that as well I might keep it sort of in the wedding theme so if you've watched to the end of this video you're obviously quite interested in wedding content so I will make more videos sort of similar to this going forward with what I'm up to what I'm planning and where I am on my journey it's gonna be so fun to take you all along I don't know yet how much I'm gonna share how much I want to keep a secret but I'm not a very secretive person I am awful at secrets if I'm honest so I can't see it being that much of a secret the secret's already out that we're wanting a more autumn themed wedding and you've seen the kind of colours we're hoping for so visualise that for me if you've got any ideas or any other venues or anything else like that that you can think of then let me know I would love your involvement and if you're planning your own wedding too I will try and think of maybe like a hashtag or something so we can all kind of plan our weddings together. I think that could be really, really fun, especially for any of you who are brides-to-be in the next year or two. So much excitement and so much fun coming our way, isn't there? It's just, it's a huge thing. I've never planned anything <laughs> on this scale before. Um, so it's all very uncertain and unsure, but definitely very exciting. So thank you so much for watching. If you've watched the end of this video, I love you and I think you're amazing. Leave me like a little love heart down below. In fact, no, leave me a star down below <laughs> if you got to the end of the video. I'll be super intrigued to see. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you have a really fantastic rest of your week. Don't forget to enter the giveaway and I'll see you all in my next video. And I've come out here to say